Hey, we're here. Where? Here. Oh, yeah, we're here. We're here. Right. So, how are you holding up? My feet are numb. Yeah? So's my mind. Huh. Why change the habits of a lifetime? You know, I don't hear you coming up with too many smart ideas to get us out of this. Okay, let's not fight, okay? Mm -hmm. I forgive you for having got us into this ridiculous mess. Stupid moustache has come off. <laughs> you know, what do they say that delirium is one of the first signs of panic? Definitely. But rationally, what is the worst thing that could possibly happen to us? I mean, the worst. All right, the worst thing. All right, let's look at a worst case scenario here. We could die of boredom mm -hmm. in this rather badly built condo <laughs> and have our bodies donated to medicine to be abused by a first year med student. Maybe we should panic. You're right. <laughs> Which way now? Straight ahead. Oh. Totally hopeless. And one tunnel just leads to another. Not always. Mm. Well, this one over here, for instance, oh. is a dead end. Brilliant. 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 You all right? Oh, yeah, I'm fantastic. And you? Well, I don't mind telling you. I've about run out of ideas. What about you? Oh, don't look at me. I haven't got any. Something doesn't happen soon. I don't see us getting out of here. Ever. Well, for tonight at any rate. Mm. Here, that. Uh, what? Here. Yeah. and you listen to me now. I want you to calm down. Are you going to be quiet mm -hmm. if I let you go? Mm -hmm. No, I don't want to hear a peep out of you, all right? Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, one, two, three. Who do you what? think you are? You think you're Conan the Barbarian or something? How do you, some kind of gorilla? I thought you said you were going to be quiet. How dare you kidnap me? How dare you lay one hand on me? I'm going to call the police. Do you hear me? You used to stop. Now, where's the point? I'm going to have you arrested. I'm going to have you arrested. I'm going to have you thrown in jail. And just be quiet. You're going to throw the key away. What's the good news, I suppose? I hate you. All right. Will you just let me explain for a minute, please? Why should I? Because if you don't, I'm going to throw you in that bathroom, I'm going to lock that door, and I'm going to keep you in there until you simmer down. You listen to me. You just listen to me. I already did. Okay, okay. Talk, but you got one minute, 60 seconds. You better talk fast. All right, I did what I had to do because I'm on a mission. Ha, 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 ha. I am. Oh, a mission all alone? A lonely mission? Is that what it is? No, there are others involved. Well, where are they? I don't see anybody. They'll else. be here. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they will. When are the little wee ones coming from the garden? I garter? said they will be here. Besides, I need your help. My help? You could be drowned and I wouldn't throw you a stupid beach towel. I thought you said you were going to let me explain. Okay, explain. All right. I'm on a very critical assignment right now. I really can't tell you too much about it. But one thing that I have to know. What is Dusty doing here? Dusty? Yeah, Dusty. You said he wasn't coming. Why did he change his mind? Why are you so interested in Dusty? I mean, the last time you asked me about this, you remember you got me drunk on one. Do you remember that? Yes, I, I mean, the only reason you were nice to me is because you wanted something to have me. Is that the only reason you were nice? No. Yeah, that's all right. Just throw her a bone. Just be nicer. That's all you've ever wanted out of me. Don't be too sure about that. Well, I'm not going to tell you anything about Dusty. No way, Jose, honey. He is my client. That's why I asked. If I start gossiping about him, it's going to ruin my entire career. I am career. not interested in gossip. Now, this is very serious, Stephanie. Yeah, sure. My lips are sealed. So is this room. Let go of I'll me! Look. You have one of two choices. The bathroom or you simmer down. 
For how long? Until the rest of my team gets back. Until hell freezes over, whichever's first, I'm sure. So it's all in this folder, the plan of action, the timetable, everything. All right, the system will be totally destroyed. But they will not be able to find anyone to blame. In the back of the garden. Yes, but they will have a chance to cooperate and prevent the system. Now, do you understand that? to live like a rabbit, all right? Now, if you want to take up residency in this, this abode, then it's up to you. But I'm out of here. Goodbye. All right, hang on. I'm not talking to anyone. Yeah. We gotta follow them. Yeah, find out where they're staying. I wanna have a look at that red fall. That's pretty close to cocktail time. Get the drink. What is it? Tap water. Oh, you're really going all out on this, aren't you, sport? <sighs> Just thought I'd ask. Next thing I know, you'll be feeding me, what is it, stale bread? Isn't that the normal thing they have in one of those jail cells? No, no, actually, jail food is pretty good these days. They have nutritional consultants That's and very everything. fascinating, but I'm really going to wait. Sit don't... down. Sean, why don't you just level with me? I mean, I know that you made this whole thing up about having a team here and everything, didn't you? No, you I did. Didn't. No, I didn't. Well, then what, are we, are we just waiting for them, what, to land in a spaceship or something? Where are they? Uh, no, they'll walk through the door. Oh, hey, in their Martian outfits with their little antenna growing out of their hats, is that it? Why don't we just wait and see? Why are you keeping me here against my will? You understand I don't want to be here. You have made that perfectly clear. Then why don't you just take my word for it that I'm not going to tell anybody that you're here. I'll keep this a secret, okay? Keeping secrets is not exactly your long suit, Tiffany. I've changed. I've changed. I, I, I don't say a word. Nobody can get two words out of me a week, I promise. That'll be some week. Look, Sean, I don't know what you're up to, but I promise you, I won't mention it to a soul, not I, a soul. I'm I sorry, I can't let you go. Well, the words are there, but somehow I don't think the meaning is. I don't think you're one bit sorry about this. No, that's not true. One thing I didn't need is to run into you. Then let me go, please. No, I can't. Not until the rest of the team gets back. Well, who is this team? I mean, where are they? Do I know them? How many people do you have? Like you, my lips are sealed. Well, that's very funny, very funny. Oh, well, it's the best I could do on such short notice. Why don't you just sit down, put your feet up and relax, all right? Hmm? Well, I suppose you're right. There's really no need for me to struggle with you, is there? Oh, no need at all. Mm-hmm. I wonder if I might have a little glass of that delicious tap water. Oh, sure. We got all kinds of that tap water. Mm -hmm. It keeps pumping through those pipes all you need. Mm-hmm. I'll freshen this up. Good, thank you. Be quiet. I will both yell. One, two, three. Yes. Are we interrupting anything important? Well, I mean, it looks fairly important to me. Wait a minute, I know their voice. You're supposed to be dead. You've got some serious explaining to what, what is going on here? How could you let everybody think that you were dead like that? D don't ask, Tiffany. All in good time. But what are you doing here? I, I don't know. I could ask you the same question. Mm -hmm. Duke. What does Duke? I, I should have asked. Duke, Duke knows, yes. My daughter does, and so does Felicia. That's all. 
Literally, I can't believe it. I'm glad too. <laughs> Honey, do you look mm. funny? Yes, I guess. Oh, Robert, I thought you were dead. Mm. I'm so glad you're not dead. I thought oh, you were I'm pretty dead. happy about that too, Tiff. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you? Oh. You I'm not so sure about. Oh, that's my girl. Don't ever change, huh? Look, I'm sorry about this old buddy, but she spotted me. I had to bring her here. Hey, look, it might even uh, work to red bondage. How's that? Oh, uh, Tiff can be our legs. Get us the stuff that we need. Yeah, she doesn't have to be undercover. Right. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You all got this all worked out. Would, would you let me under this scam, please? Can? Hmm? Yeah, yeah. Well, what is it? A, a, a hustle or bustle or a scheme or whatever you're doing? I want in on it. I do. I was afraid you are going to say that. You can't just go off <clears> a bit without knowing? <sighs> no, of course not. No, I, I, I'm an investigative reporter. What are you talking about? I, I, this is a big story. Everybody thinks you're dead. I want to break it first. All right, and you shall. On the condition that you help us. Anything. What do you want me to do? Well, right. the first thing is the hard part. You have to keep a secret that we're even here. Shush, I can be discreet if I have to be. How would you know? You've never tried. <laughs> the person we're investigating is Elena. Really? Mm. Oh, she's so nice and rich. Yeah, well, she almost tagged us in the cave. We had a couple of anxious moments there. Yes, we followed her to the hotel. She's got this folder, and we have to see it. A folder? Yeah. Red folder. It contains her master plan. I'd like to see that, too. Me, too. We've probably got a list of all the dirty tricks she's going to pull on us. If she's the boss of this whole thing. Well, as we don't know what we're up against here, we're going to have to take a few special precautions. All we know is that something is about to be destroyed, but we're not sure what. Well, well, but what? I don't understand. Or who? No, we don't. Well, well, you all are going too fast. We just slow down just a second. Now, now, who, who, who is Elena's boss? Who is she working for? What is this? We have no idea, Tiffany. We don't know. One thing is certain. We've got to find some pretext to get into her room. There. According to schedule. Yes, everything is planned right down to the second. Here, I want to show you the timing device. Ingenious. Naturally. All of our years of preparation are about to pay off. I have a job for you. What's that? Dusty. I want you to make sure you know where he is every moment. I'll stick with him. See that you do. It's the crux of everything. With Dusty doing his part, we succeed. Without him, we fail. Make sure that doesn't happen. What are we going to do next? No, what is what we're going to do next? You're going to move into the hotel, the room across from Elena's. All right, I'll set the command post up. For starters, Tiffany, I want you to get Anna a maid's uniform. We mean buy one? Get one from a hotel. Oh, they sell them there. No, you don't buy it. You steal it. You get it from the linen closet. Oh, I steal it. In the meantime, I'm going to call Washington. I want them to get ready for a possible terrorist act. Right. And hopefully, with everyone doing his or her part, we'll be able to defuse Elena's plan. Before it's too late. Let's move. Ooh. 